They're rolling. All right, so we have the members of nine round here. What's up? What's going on, guys? What's up? Introduce yourself, fellas, and what you do for the band. I'm Jason Acevedo. I'm the singer. Tommy D, percussion. Steve, bass. John, I'm the guitar player. And how long have you guys been around as a band? A little over two years. And you've played a few festivals and quite a few shows around here. Uh, K Rockathon was one. Yeah. You said you had a really good experience at that show? Amazing. That was great. Absolutely amazing. Mind blowing. Have you guys play have you played that once or twice? Once. Just once. once. Just once? Well you weren't allowed to do the second, um, because uh, you not their rules is you're not supposed to do two years in a row. Ah, okay. The chances of coming back this year are pretty good. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's Especially because that, that draws a lot of people. Yeah, thirty-five thousand. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, when we uh, when I wish we're, all the shows could be like that. Oh man, <laughs> it was un unreal. Um, your recent demo that you put out or EP, where did you guys record that at? Subcat. Yeah. Syracuse. 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 New York. Subcat Studios. How long did it take you to record it? A couple uh, weeks. Few weeks. Yeah, we were on and off as we got money. We'd go back and, you know, we blocked out a weekend first. And then, yeah, probably if we put it all together, it would have been a few weeks. Yep, wasn't too bad. Um, have you guys ever thought about making, like, a music video or something? Yeah. Yeah, we talked about it a few times. Uh, we're just kind of, um, I think we're going more through some ideas, you know, in, in, in where, where we want to do it or what we want to do is... Uh, is when we do do it, it's going to be unbelievable. You know, well, we're so going to we do these new songs and yeah. maybe take one of those. Find the right song to do it to. Yeah. It's just yeah. not doing it for the purpose of doing a video. Sure. Actually, name some of the national bands that you guys have done shows with. Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit. Ben Sevenfold. Flyleaf. Hatebreed. Smell of Your Soul. All, All That Remains. Taproot. Hollywood Undead. Um, You're about to do a show with Kitty. Kitty's yeah, coming. Kitty. Yeah. Uh, Burn Halo. Burn Halo. Yeah. Did we say something else to say? Yeah, she did. No, it's. I know this has to be. That's not bad in two years. At least one more. Uh, not bad at all. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, if you guys could tour with a, with any band, who would it be? Me personally, I think a bunch of people. It would be amazing. They're a great bunch of guys, met them. Um, I 100% adore their music. Now, did you, you guys played with them when uh, Perkman was playing with them, right? Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Yeah. I would tour with any national band that wanted to give us a fighting chance. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. It's definitely awesome to see the local scene growing as much as it has over the last few years. Whether it be in like modern rock style stuff or even death metal style stuff or hardcore, yeah. yeah, just seems to be a lot of up and coming bands around the scene right now. Rochester, Syracuse, yeah. Buffalo, and it's it's just good to see that because for a while it just seemed like it was burning out. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, some of the local shows we've played are are sometimes better than when we do play with nationals. It can be, yeah, it's fun for exposure, but honestly, it you know. It can be kind of overrated, you know. Sometimes the nationals that kind of have passed their time and come back around, the local bands are the ones that are, are bringing the people in there, yeah. you know, and then they pretty much make all the money and then kick you the hell out. <laughs> now, so, we, you know, it's, we played, you know, we played shows with Cry to the Blind and Waterloo and had 350 people in the place, you know. Yeah. Aside from like K Rockathon, you know. Most of the national shows at smaller clubs have never had that many people. And you, you know, guys actually have a show coming up with them at the Upper Deck again, right? Correct, yeah. yeah. Actually, you know, I mean, as much as uh, K Rock Town was amazing to play in front of that many people, I like uh, the smaller club scenes a little bit better. You know? Not me. Well, I'm, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, 
we were, you know, the stage is so big, it's awesome, don't get me wrong, the experience is great, but I like the people right there, you know, right up there in your face, you know, instead of being 10, 15 feet away, but no, yeah, yeah, you're right, no, the, sound was, the sound was amazing <laughs> yeah. at K-Rock. I'm up here for a reason. Yeah. I mean, you could tell it was the best of the best. Yeah. Yeah. When we hit that stage, you can hear everything crystal clear. Monitors. And just to hear your guitar yeah. and the bass is that oh, loud. Man. Just coming through the, those side fills. Yeah. Just what a feeling, man. Yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. I really so, yeah. There could have been nobody out there and still would have sounded. Yeah, actually, the same thing kind of goes for us. The last three years, we've, or actually, this will be our third year, we've emceed the Finger Lakes Metal Fest. Now, within the last year, we've gotten to interview a lot of national bands. And that's cool, but getting to be a part of the local scene and emceeing that fest is just amazing. Yeah. The fact that Dave from Spatter respects us that much, to have us emcee that fest and, you know, just show a lot of support for the, for the local bands is yeah. just awesome. Well, you guys have a lot to do that, though. You're playing a lot of music that people don't normally hear. You're one of the few radio stations that play good music. So, you no, it's, it's, it's good to see that you know a lot of the local bands are doing their own thing because honestly, I I probably listen to more just I don't even want to call them local bands. It's good music. Yeah, it's yeah. just oh, bands yeah. that aren't signed yet, and you know there's a there's a million bands out there that suck. I you know there's we play with bands monthly and weekly that I think are 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 better than what you hear playing on the radio is just trying to get get into that point is who you know sometimes and just being at the right place at the right time so exactly always got a pull for for everybody that's that, that's from around this area you know because we're all kind of in it together trying to help each other out and keep it alive here's actually a new question what is the goal for nine run in this next year getting back in the studio yeah we're we're we went from a five piece to a four piece, so with that comes, you know, a little change in identity. Our, our songs are a little structured, a little different, and you know, we're we're taking more pride in, in what we're doing now and wanting to make sure that we're we're writing songs that, you know, if it's not good, we're not gonna. If we don't like it, we're not gonna do it. We're trying to write the best songs possible and get back in the studio and. Take it from there. You know, it's always one step at a time. So, very cool. So, um, you know, while we're going at about the local scene here, a couple of you, I mean, to, to a degree, all you've been around for a while. Um, Steve and John, in particular, um, what's uh, kind of talk about where you guys have come from over the years? Because I know, um, I have seen Steve with both Redesra and Satin Steel. Um, as well as nine round, and we're—I mean, we're, that's going back a ways there. Like, let, let, let's kind of. Where have you guys come from? Eighties oh, metal. Eighties metal. <laughs> yeah, we started back in the day in the eighties. Eighties. Yeah. You know, with the spandex pants and big hair, and go a long way from there. Yeah, yeah which actually, Steve, Steve, Steve still has uh, all those pictures of John <laughs> like that too. So, 1986, John and I started together, and you know, we're back together again. So. It yeah. felt natural for me. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, it's like we did. We didn't play together for a while, but yeah. once we started playing together again, it was like we never even quit. And we, you know, come for full circle. Absolutely. John and I. It felt great, especially being at K Rock with him after so many years. Good of deal. Us playing yeah, local it. scenes. It's all that time just to get there. Yeah. <laughs> felt felt really good. So all cool. the journey. That's about all I got. That's about all I got. You good? I'd like to say, Adam O, no one's kissing me from this band. I told him. <laughs> I told him I'd kiss you, but if you punched me in the mouth, I was going to have to send it back his way. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks so awesome. much. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I had to come back again. Definitely. Absolutely. Good deal. Thank you. Thanks.